filling up my vitamin D tank for winter time. Winters are long in Chicago. Good morning everyone. It is an early morning for Allison and I. We are in the car and we are heading to a place called Kisumos. So it is about well, like 45 minutes straight west from Hanya and there we are going to be getting on a boat that takes us to Belos Beach and one other place that escapes me right off the top of my head but it's going to be super awesome. This place came highly highly recommended the Belos Beach that is. So we are just driving over there now. All right, we made it here to the port. Our boat is right back here. Right now we're just gonna get some drinks, get on some sunscreen and then uh, Get ready for our trip. We got like about 40 minutes right now. We wanted to get here early just based on how this trip has kind of been going so far. And uh, we did pretty good this time. Yeah. All right, got our frappes. Now we're heading to our boat, which is the Gromvosa. Thank you. Got some primo seats on the bus, or on the bus, on the boat, guys. Jeez, I'm brain dead. I need more of this. But let me show you the seats now. Look at that. Right off the boat. Right off the back. She's happy with this. I'm happy with this. All the happiness around. One thing that I definitely didn't know before coming to Crete is like how mountainous this is. Like this is not just like a by the bay thing. Like, let me go over here. Like, I don't know if you can see all of that, but these are like fairly sizable mountains, like way off in the distance over there. Like, I did not expect that of Crete. So cool. They're playing Nickelback. So far, so good. So before we get started here, I want to, you see that face? That's a good I can't face. even say this. See the face. That's a good face. So before we get started here, I want to kind of explain what we are doing today. So we drove from Hanya to Kisimos, which is where we are at the port right now. And we are getting on a ship that's going to take us around uh, Gromvosa, which is where there's like a lot of historic, like, from ancient all the way up through like World War II stuff going on here. And then from there, we're going to go to Balos Lagoon. And Balos is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, as we are told, as it's publicized. We have done a lot of research in terms of what beaches we wanted to go to. And there's a couple that we are looking forward to here in Crete. Balos Lagoon is one of them. We've had locals recommend it in Athens. I mean, a lot of people recommend it. So we're super excited. It's going to be about like, what they say, it was like a six hour day or something like that. So brought lots of sunscreen, lots of water. And uh, I'm planning on seeing some, some awesome sights. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm pumped for this vlog. here well, it actually gets higher and higher as you go down the coast and that little line that's right there is actually the western end of the island picking up out of the water and the eastern end is sinking and that is because of the tectonic pressure of the African plate which is really really cool that you can actually see that in a place like Crete 
no worry or threat to the island anytime soon. This has been happening like for seemingly millions of years, if not hundreds of thousands. So I think we're okay. There's a better view of it, of how, just how much it's picked up. That's crazy. get it. The, the water is just so gorgeous. It's a little windy, sorry, I'm definitely getting a wind protector once I get back to Chicago, I promise, guys. So there's a Venetian fortress at the top that apparently played a unique role in Greece's history, protecting uh, the Crete island. But uh, one thing that's really cool here is there are over 400 species of plants on this island, 20 of which grow nowhere else in the world. That is very interesting for sure. There's a lot of wild thyme and a bunch of plants that I can't pronounce. I wish I could tell you guys more, but look at this water right now. Look at that. of a shipwreck that wrecked some years ago on the island. Right, in true and regular form of this vlog, it's time to get in the water. This time I got it. snorkeling so much fun the water is so clear here this is definitely the clearest water we've had for snorkeling I've got a little bit of time left here on Gromvosa before we head off to Bellos doing a little swimming Allison wasn't totally keen on coming out as deep as I've come but uh, that's okay let's go check on her how's the beach Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Snorkeling was okay. Yeah. Snorkeling with no snorkel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said about the snorkel. Maybe. Filling up my vitamin D tank for winter time. Winters are long in Chicago. Alright, that's it for Garbosa. Now, off to Bellos yeah. Beach. Coming up on Balos Lagoon. I think I was calling it a beach, but it's a lagoon. 
right now. And I'm gonna wait to show you because it is one of the, allegedly one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And from my angle, it's delivering on that. But I was just saying to Allison how this would be a terribly epic video if I got drone footage of this lagoon. And what was it that you just said? 1,000 subscribers and you can get a drone. 1,000. That's not far from now. We're like 3.30 something, so share this video, share the channel. We need to get to a thousand because then I can start including drone footage in these videos. So give this video a thumbs up for drone footage and for Allison. Oh yeah. All right guys, you ready for this? It's windy, but here you go. Fellows Lagoon. say it's pretty believable why this is one of the best beaches in the world. This, uh, this is probably my favorite beach in the world. So, pretty neat. If you're ever in Crete, come to Palos Lagoon. Yeah, check it out. This isn't reason enough for you guys to come to Crete. I, I don't know if I'll ever have a good enough reason for you guys to come to Crete, so come here. You should definitely be here. We wish you all were here because this is an absolutely unbelievable experience, guys. So here in a little bit, we're gonna be getting back onto our ship and headed back in to Kisimos. And then we have that like little less than an hour drive back to Hanya. So we uh, are gonna be wrapping up here in a little bit and uh, heading out of here. So we will see you when we are back in Kisimos. All right, we're off the boat. We're back in Kisimos now. It was uh, about an hour trip back, so we're kind of kind of wiped out from the sun. Got to be honest, but yeah. uh, we are very hungry, so we are going to book it back to Hanya and uh, maybe go get some more seafood. More seafood? Yeah, more seafood. Yeah, more seafood. Taking that sick whip back. Oh, damn. I feel like we should do like, the like West Coast Customs like, view. no, never mind. <laughs> All right, so we're back in Hanya. We're on our street right now. I'm parked outside and got our four ways on because the street, I don't know if you guys can tell, is like, super narrow and there's like cars all up and down it and like parking is a total pain so Allison just ran inside to see if um, we can ask them where the, the free parking is one of the tenants from the other night actually told us to like if we don't ever get parking on the street like just run in and ask them like hey where should we park so like right now Allison is oh here she comes what's the word there's no one there. What? 
there's nobody at the front desk right now. I don't know where anyone is. It's only 6.40. What do you want to do? All right, so like Allison said, apparently the, one of the tenants is not there. So like, or like the reception person or whatnot. So we are gonna just kind of wait to see if they just like ran upstairs or something because we actually have keys to like the front too. So like if they're ever not there, we can like let ourselves in and whatnot. But they were supposed to tell us whenever we needed to like where we're supposed to go park because it's kind of like really confusing in terms of how everything is down here. So I definitely don't want to do it uneducated. Look how blonde my beard is getting from the sun. Yikes. Woo. My hair. I need a haircut like somebody is business right now. Good lord. All right, we only had to drive like a block away. We got a spot. Paralleled the crap out of that. It's been a minute since I had to parallel park. All right, so it's been a couple hours and we are now heading to dinner. So tonight and tomorrow are going to be our like last like dinners in Crete because on Wednesday we have to take off, head back to Athens and to Switzerland and then back to Chicago. So we're gonna do it up tonight. We haven't totally decided where we're going, but we're thinking seafood just like we were talking about earlier. You still thinking seafood? Yeah. Okay, good. Pretty much anywhere here in the Old Harbor is like a good spot for the seafood that we want. So it's just a matter of picking one of these awesome patios and digging in. Since we pretty much went to the same place and ordered the exact same thing, we decided to spare you from the vlog. So we had an awesome day today, seeing some things that are truly unbelievable. Like our earth has so many beautiful things. Balos Beach truly lives up to what it is being one of the more beautiful beaches in the world. So please give this video a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that. Tomorrow's our last full day here in Crete. So be sure to stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Check out our social media links in the description below to catch out everything in between the vlogs. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.